Hi everyone, it's Becky here. So welcome to another new video on my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I decided to uh, talk about how to find more time to sketch in our journal in a more consistent basis based on my personal experiences. So I know we all have different lifestyles and responsibilities, demands in life. In the modern world, everyone is busy. Every single adult is busy. So before the pandemic, I was in my first year of graduate school in, our, in the art education department. And in the second semester of my uh, first year grad school, the pandemic started in March 2020. And so I have to come back home to Vancouver from Montreal and start self-isolation. And at the same time, I worked on my thesis. I wrote the thesis proposal and I conducted a research with a group of colleagues to work on our journals together for about six weeks based on creative prompts. And um, yesterday I just handed in my first draft of my completed thesis paper to my professor and there will be another draft or two before we call it officially done. And I will get my Master of Arts degree very soon. So if you have watched my other um, art talk videos, I mentioned that I worked as a preschool teacher, as a casual preschool teacher part-time, um, about three to five days a week. And I teach art in my home studio to children in my neighborhood on the weekend. So that's my life before grad school. Here I have a Moleskin watercolor album. So this is my sketchbook from 2017, four years ago. It took me two months to fill this up. So back then I was working as a preschool teacher and I sketch almost every single day. So I always try to find time to stay behind after work. So I did a lot of nighttime sketches back then. And November, it started pretty early, around 5. And I always like to stay behind after work. I was physically tired, but I was still very uh, mentally, mentally alive. I always want to look for some creative inspirations around my workplaces. This one was done at Olympic Village, one of my workplaces. And I, I was sitting on the uh, on a bench and with a lot of colorful LED changing lights overhead. So it was kind of hard to, uh, to paint. There were um, two giant bird sculptures there in front of these apartment buildings. I think it's a really cool site to sketch. And this one, I think, was after work, after my half day work or a break, I don't remember. Um, I got a, a cup of pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, and they had this Christmas design, cup design, and they just sketched it. I could just go home after work every day and uh, be home early, stay warm. But for me, um, I don't know, there's a, there's a kind of a, there was a strong passion in me after work to create in this one too. I think this one was another day after work. I didn't know these colors would turn out this way after I got home because I was painting in semi-darkness. I could find tons of time when I'm staying at home on the weekend. And so, okay, so here's another after work sketch from 5.35 to 6.10, about 40 minutes. This one was, um, I was sitting inside, nice and warm inside a, a supermarket around my workplace. The thing about finding time is not just, a, not just about squeezing time, it's about having a kind of passion that you really wanna do something. And so you will find time for sure. If you have a really strong desire inside you, then you're very likely to be able to find the time instead of forcing yourself to do something that you don't really like. And some more after work sketches on November the 30th. 
from 5.30 to 6.15. So I usually have to stay behind for about 45 minutes after work um, in downtown Vancouver. I live in, in Surrey. So it's about an hour and 40 minutes bus ride, bus and sky train ride from downtown Vancouver. So I actually live very far from my workplace. But I really, um, so I think staying behind after work and sketch something before I go home is really worth it, really worth the trip. Sometimes I could find a little bit of time during my short one hour break. Um, this was one of my favorite lunch places around downtown, no actually around Yo Town, Vancouver. This was the uh, Vietnam style sandwich with lemongrass chicken and carrots, marinated carrots and other veggies and coffee with condensed milk. It was really good. Um, so I took about 10 to 15 minutes to sketch my lunch, including the line work and color. I like to do every every single part of my sketch on site, on location, from line work to painting. And this one was another day out, it was Saturday, a weekend out with my friend at Waterfront Vancouver, and this one was a really large panorama sketch. So when I sketch, especially when I'm with friends, I like to give myself a time limit. Like, okay, I'm, I want to just take 40 minutes to focus on this scenery. And yeah, so that means I could focus on 20 minutes on the line work and another 20 minutes on the on the colors. So my friend doesn't have to wait for way too long. This one is a before work sketch was very early in the morning from 8 to 8.20 a.m. I was early for work. Sometimes I like to be a little bit earlier because so I can walk around, get some fresh air, relax before I start my intense day working with children. So for me, I, I think it's really easy to find time when I'm staying at home. And this one was another after work sketch. And the very, very sketch people, but sometimes I do. I got inspired from looking at other uh, human figure sketches on social media, so I just like to do to tr to give it a try too. A lot of people um, sitting at Starbucks after work, talking to each other, life before the pandemic, when we're all open to each other, and oh, and some more before work sketches. This one, seven twenty a.m. was very early. In the day, um, sometimes I like, I don't have breakfast at home, but I, I took the bus to the uh, SkyTrain station and I have breakfast at the A&W where they have really nice and fluffy pancakes and coffee. And after work, it was, I think it was very cold after the snowfall. So I just stayed for about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes and sketched the sunset color at the quayside. And some more after work sketches in a community center, nice and warm, sitting at a table and sketch these Christmas decorations with kids playing around. I think our mindset is really important to help with finding the time. Sometimes when we think a task is really difficult to complete, then we're very likely to make excuses of not finding time. So for me, I like to relax when I'm um, when I'm sketching. So as you can see, I was sketching in a food court in a mall, and my mindset when sketching is that I I don't need to be perfect. All right. So as you can see, these line works are very loose, and I just add a, just one single layer of quick watercolors. It only took me twenty minutes to draw and paint. If you have been watching some of my recent videos, I've been sketching this view so many times over the seasons, spring, summer, and fall. So sketching in our journal for me is a way to relax instead of, uh, instead of uh, forcing myself into a, a type of physical work. The more, the more I've been doing it, the more easier and relaxing it becomes. 
So I understand it could be difficult for, uh, for, for those of you who are beginners to sketch outdoors, to sketch these complex urban sceneries. So if you're just beginning, I would really suggest you to just, it's okay, you don't have to go out and sit out there and sketch with a lot of people walking by. You could just um, focus on, on your home sceneries, like the view outside your windows, and you can focus on your tea or coffee and your, and your dessert or snack. I think that's it. That's you don't have to go out if you're just starting with art journaling. A lot of loose, and then you can draw your home sceneries. This one was a uh, part of our living room with a piano and a shelf and a door to the kitchen. Very quick and loose. It's kind of just very playful here. We don't have to be very serious with, uh, with our art journal work. It's just a place for fun, to have a lot of freedom to express ourselves. Okay, so this is my current art journal. It's an um, Arteza watercolor sketchbook, 8.5 inches square. And I've been working on it for about a, a month and a half now. So, the, so these days, are, um, I mostly stayed at home and worked on my thesis. And we have a lot of windows in our home. So, and the season was changing. So it was uh, late in September and the trees were starting to change color. So there was a lot of nice, beautiful sights to see outside my windows. So there are a lot of sketches along with my food and drinks. So again, if you're staying at home, I, I think there are a lot of subject matters to sketch. Almost anything can be sketched. Food is part of our lives. And eating and drinking moderately gives us happiness. We don't have to find the perfect time and moment. Any, any, I think any moment is suitable for sketching and painting in our art journals or, or making art. Um, so this one was not a perfect day. I think it was really cloudy and rain was coming, but I still, um, fitted it a, um, a sketch, the view from my window around 6.30. Evening sky with heavy rain clouds, heavy rain predicted for tomorrow. So it was kind of like a, a record of, of the weather of the season. Was, since I was really busy over the past few months working on my thesis, it was challenging to find time. So after typing for about an hour or two, Near the end, I just uh, let myself to stop from to stop typing and stand up, enjoy the moment, walk to a window and slow down, take a deep breath, and observe what's out there. So this one was uh, was about the sunshine came back after two days of rain feeling much better to see the glowing colors again. So it's a little bit depressing these days with a lot of rain, this rain season in Vancouver in, in the fall and winter. And again, almost anything can be sketched. So this one is a jar of uh, red chili sauce, homemade by my mom. You could just grab something from the fridge and sketch it. Staying at home is, uh, has a lot of opportunities to find time and subject matters to sketch. And this one was done on October the 8th. This one you can see a full process video uh, by scrolling down my channel page. So I drove to a pumpkin patch in my neighborhood and it took one hour to sketch this, this view of the field of these cute pumpkins before they got harvested the next day. So it's all about squeezing time. I know I could just keep sitting home and type my thesis or work on other stuff, but I, yeah, in some way I had to force myself, well, the, the weather is really nice. Why don't you go out and, um, and, and do some outdoor sketches and enjoy the, uh, the weather, get some fresh air at the same time, right? And, Again, this one using the same mindset, 
the weather was pretty good and I think um, it's great to, uh, to go out, get some fresh air. So I walked to my neighborhood park and I focused on the water reflections on the pond. So I know if you're, if you're just beginning to start your, your first art journal, I know it's really hard to try to find the time because it's a new habit. Pretty much like when we're doing something new, like uh, you know, starting to learn a new skill or starting a new job or task, um, it's always challenging to, uh, to find time to squeeze in between our other tasks. My suggestion for you is to keep it really simple. So if you only have five or 10 minutes, then it's okay. Um, you could finish a drawing in five or 10 minutes. You don't have to um, take 30 minutes or like one hour like me sometimes to, uh, to work in your art journal. It's, it's really like a personal choice. We all have different life situations. So I have a lot of free time and that's why I'm taking like 30 minutes or even one hour to work on my art journal on a single day. So if you're extremely busy, then uh, five or 10 minutes is totally fine. And you don't have to use watercolors like me if you're just uh, beginning. You could just focus on the line work. You can just use one pen and that's it. I think having less materials is really helpful to, uh, to, be, to not be stressed out on choosing which pen or which brush to use uh, this time when, when, I, when I want to sketch something. I just have one, one or two pens in my art kit and just two brushes and one watercolor palette and that's it. It's really easy for me to, uh, when I find the inspiration and I just pick up that pen and just get started. I don't spend time choosing what, what materials to use. So keep your materials really, really simple. In, in my personal way, I feel that having less materials is actually motivating for me to, uh, uh, to get started anytime and to keep this habit very consistent. So there's so many ways to do art journals. Um, you don't have to be like me to draw directly with a pen. I know it's a, it might be difficult for some of you to start thinking that way, to draw directly with a pen. You could start drawing or sketching with a pencil and then trace with a pen. And then for coloring, you don't have to use watercolors, but watercolor uh, works really well for me. But uh, you, can, you could even try colored pencils, markers, or gouache. Um, gouache is getting more popular these days. So you could give a lot of art mediums a try. Just try to find your own personal preferences. So watercolor really works for me, but it may or may not work for you. So I'm not too sure. So we all have different personalities and you know preferences about different effects that we see. We all have different aesthetic tastes. So overall, it's all about finding time in between the different things that happen, that, like the different events in our everyday life. It could be during lunchtime or after dinner or like early in the morning before we start working or one hour or like a few minutes, 30 minutes after work there's so many um, gaps in a day that we can stop and relax and work in our art journals instead of scrolling on our phone or very rarely watch um, silly videos that keeps going on and on. I think it's a really big waste of time. Um, so yeah, so watching TV and scrolling on our phones it really gives like instant gratifications. But art journal, on the long run, it gives us the biggest satisfaction about the qualities of, of our living that I think after some months or after some years, you're gonna be so grateful for yourself that you actually save some time in your life to do something that's really valuable, that's really good for your uh, spiritual well-being and some physical artworks that you're, that you're able to enjoy yourself to uh, look back at your life's memories and also to share with family, friends, and also friends online. I think it's, it's really worth it. Even though if you're just beginning and you don't like the, the work that, that, you're, that you're producing. 
So as time goes by, as you keep practicing and you you keep enjoying the process and trust yourself and don't compare your work with others, I think you're gonna slowly build up your own style that you're gonna be happy with.